Hey guys, this is Ashley with Ashley Says So. I am back with another video. As you can tell by now, this video is going to be on the lovely Miss Mary Wilson of the Supremes. There's not much tea out there on Mary Wilson, but the little tea that's out, believe me, it's scandalous, child. I changed my wig because I could not stand looking at myself anymore in that little Dora the Explorer wig. This one ain't that much better. It's like a Barbie wig or something. Go ahead and click like and subscribe. Let's watch. Mary Wilson was born on March 6, 1944 in Greenville, Mississippi to Mr. Sam and Mrs. Johnny Mae Wilson. She was the eldest of three children. While she was still young, Mary was sent to live in Detroit with an aunt and uncle. Pretty soon at the age of nine, her family did move to Detroit with her and the family reunited. Um, you guys pretty much know the story of Mary getting with the Supremes. Her, and y'all know we're here for the scandalous tea of old Hollywood, old Motown, whatever you want to call it. So let's get to that. Stop. In the name of love. Everything in this video is alleged. I don't know what's fact or what's fiction. I ain't trying to get sued by Miss Mary Wilson. Here is the scandalous thing about Mary Wilson. It was said, and it's still being said, that Mary Wilson was a Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana, bust down. And let me tell you some of the things that was said. According to Tony Turner, a road manager for Motown, he said that David Ruffin said that Mary Wilson was trash. And when he asked them why, when he asked David why, David was like, she's just trash. She slept with half of the men in Motown. You know, anybody that shows her any attention, she's going to sleep with. And Tony himself agreed and said that, yes, Mary was trash. Um, he said in her personal life that she liked men and the men liked her. And he said that she was very beautiful, you know, and she was very beautiful. But the thing is, is that she basically would not turn a man down. And it didn't matter if he was a famous superstar or if he was just a janitor at Motown. With a backup dancer. I mean, that's nasty. That's this lord and the security guard. Now, like I said, this is what Tony Turner and David Ruffin said. So there's that. I do know that she had a string of lovers. Let me name a few for you. There was Flip Wilson. There was David Frost. There was Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. <laughs> that Mary had an affair with was Mr. Duke Fakir. You know, the very distinguished gentleman one of the four tops. Very handsome to me. I think Mr. Duke is very handsome. Look at the picture of him. And her most scandalous affair was with Tom Jones. Let's get into this Tom Jones affair, y'all, because it gets messy, baby. Woo, child. Honey, well, let me tell you. So, they met back in 1968 when Tom Jones had to do some touring around the U.S. He did a couple of shows with the Supremes and he laid eyes on Miss Mary. Pussycat, pussycat, you're delicious and my wishes can all come true. I'll soon be kissing your sweet little pussycat he smiled and then all of a sudden as Mary was in her dressing room getting undressed or getting dressed she had a knock at the door tap 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 she opened the door I like to imagine she had on a robe and she had her legs sticking out of the robe very sexy like you know that's how I like to imagine I don't know if it went anyway so she opens the door and she says oh hi Tom and he says well what's going on Mary and she says are you sure you're here to see me? Wouldn't you like to see Diana? And Tom goes, well, heck no. I mean, Diana may be the lead singer, but everybody knows. Paul's, Paul's baby. He didn't say me or one or two people. Mary said, Tom said, everybody knows that you're the sexy one. And from then on, baby, they were like, rabbits it became like a serious affair because they would not leave each other alone they were being seen out everywhere they were being photographed everywhere look at some of the photos that i'm putting up like i mean and this is crazy mary even started to cook for this man it started to be like what well, he would come home from work almost like she was a homemaker like he was her husband and that was a problem because he was somebody else's husband 
his wife, Linda, Linda Jones, in fact. Tom had married Miss Linda Jones at the age of 16. They even had a son together, but nobody knew about it. Mary did know about it, but the world didn't really know that Tom Jones was married because his record company told him to keep it a secret. And let me tell you the reason that Tom was not worried about flaunting his love with Miss Mary and plenty of other chicks he messed with. Because his wife was reclusive. She was a recluse. She was a hermit. She always stayed home. She didn't drive. Crowds and being outside made her uneasy. So she stayed at the house, stayed in the house, didn't really talk to many people. So he felt like he didn't really have to worry about being seen going out to eat, um, going to the beach, wherever he was with his other lovers. He didn't really care about being seen. And also because he was a dick. He didn't care anything about his wife's feelings. Miss Linda may have been a recluse, but she was not a dummy baby. She knew that her husband was doing everything under the sun. She knew that he was sleeping with beautiful ladies. And Mary, to her knowledge, was just another beautiful lady. But then things started to get kind of funny. She started to notice that this was not just a hit it and quit it. This was lasting for several months. And most of his other flings were maybe one or two days. So she's like, what the heck? is going on. So anyways, some time passes and Tom comes back to the UK from doing another tour in the US. He comes home, he visits his wife, and then he leaves to go play a show at the Bournemouth Winter Gardens in the UK. Y'all, I don't know if I said that right, but that's just the way I'm gonna say it, the Bournemouth Winter Gardens in the UK. After the show, the next day, his wife is phoning him. Every time she calls, uh, Tom is busy, Tom is asleep. Tom is not here. So after a while, Miss Linda like, well, hold on. How can I never talk to my husband? So let me tell you what she did. I told y'all this woman was smart. She was a G too. She started going back a few days, looking at news clippings, seeing just what the heck is going on. And boom, she found what she was looking for. She saw that the day before Tom was scheduled to perform at the Bournemouth Yacht Gardens, that Miss Mary Wilson had boarded a flight over to the UK to go to Bournemouth. So Linda was like, okay, all right, all right, y'all wanna play me, baby? So this is what happens. Linda tells a friend, take me to Bournemouth, get me there. And the friend was like, why? And she told him, because I'm going to sort Tom out. And baby, you know what that means? She was about to get in his tail. Tom's personal assistant got word that Tom's wife, Linda, was coming. So Tom's personal assistant, Chris Ellis, comes running up to Tom's room and is like, Tom, you have to get rid of Mary, like, now. And Tom is like, why? What's going on? Child, I got my brown sugar here. What you talking about? And Chris was like, no, white sugar is coming. Boy, you better get this Mary girl out of here. And so Tom leapt into action, you know, putting Mary out, telling her, hey, you got to go. You know, Mary didn't ask no questions. She got up out of there. She left so fast that she left some of her things behind. And Tom started hiding her items everywhere, him and his personal assistant, Chris Ellis. And they did it right in the nick of time because Tom's wife, Linda, came bursting through that room. And y'all, I'm about to say what she said verbatim because I researched it and I saw it. And she said, where's that woman? And Tom said, Linda, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't no woman. What are you talking about? Okay, wait. Y'all, I think I got too much personality to do this verbatim, so I'm going to just do it in my way. But y'all see what they're saying. So anyway, she said, where's that woman? And Tom was like, I don't, what woman? I don't know what you're talking about. What woman? And Linda was like, oh, she been here. You know what woman I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you don't know what woman I'm talking about. I'm talking about Mary Wilson. Where is she? And Tom's like, Linda, Mary Wilson has not been here. Nobody has been here. I've been here by myself. What are you talking about? And she says, I know that she has been here. And so she starts tearing up the hotel, throwing stuff everywhere, looking inside of cupboards, looking inside of closets, looking in the bathroom, under the bed, everywhere. And she's breathing hard. <sighs> and Tom is like, see, I told you, Linda, you're doing all this. You're acting crazy. Mary is not here. She has not been here. Why don't you trust me? And so Linda said, yeah, okay, okay. And she made a mad dash for the kitchen, y'all. Opened that doggone stove. And remember, I told y'all how Mary liked to cook for Tom, you know, thinking she's a homemaker. Baby, they had a meal in that stove that Mary had prepared the day before and they had planned on eating that night. It was right there in that stove warming up. Baby, Linda opened that stove and said, well, what's this, Tom? What's this? 
Don't you know that Tom Jones had the nerve to tell his wife, oh, that's Chris. Chris cooked that. Chris cooked that. And his wife said, you lying. Chris cannot cook a can of beans. Yes, Chris did cook that. Chris has started taking cooking lessons. Now, Tom, now, 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 I want to cuss you out for saying that because that, that's just stupid. He saw that his wife was not buying that just like none of you bought that. And that's when he threw his hands up and he said, I'm sorry. Mary Wilson was here. We have been carrying on an affair. I am sorry. And you know what his wife said? I'm sure with tears in the corner of her eyes. She told him, and she did say this. She told him, sort it out. Get it straight. Because it's hard to do anything with your balls cut off. Go, Linda. Go, Linda. I told y'all, baby was a G. They did make up that night, him and Linda, and her tough exterior did melt because his personal assistant, Chris Ellis, later said that that next day when he and Tom were riding around, Tom was thinking, he asked him what was on his mind, and he told him that Linda said while they were laying in bed after making love, she started crying. He said, well, what's wrong while he was stroking her? And she said, it just pains me so much to know that that bitch was laying in these sheets just before I got here. So it did hurt her. It did hurt Linda. And another thing that Linda was on record as saying is that she never felt good enough to be Tom's wife. She says she never felt good enough to be his wife. His, his affairs really, really, really tore his wife down. That's gonna be covered in my Tom Jones video because Tom Jones has a lot of scandals. I've just touched on one here, but yeah, so that will be covered somewhere down the line. And so after that whole episode where his wife burst in and caught them, Tom Jones and Mary Wilson stopped their affair. Or so Linda thought. Turns out Tom Jones and Mary Wilson never stopped keeping in contact. I don't know if they were continuing to sleep with each other. My intuition and my feeling tells me yes, but you know, I don't have any proof of that. I do have proof that they still talk even to this day. Um, because in 2019, Mary Wilson had done an interview with someone where she was in the car and the person was actually driving her or riding with her. I'm not sure. But while they were doing the interview, Mary's phone rang and she says, oh, blushing, smiling from ear to ear. Oh, you know what? Here's Tom right now. You know, excuse me while I take this call. Gets on the phone and goes, you know, hi, Tom. What's going on? Very flirtatious. Right now, because Tom's wife has passed away, if him and Mary did want to connect that's okay because he's no longer married and mary is not married either i know a lot of you are like i know that lady was married and had three kids and you are very correct in 1977 mary did get married and she got married to a mr pedro ferrer but that marriage ended up in divorce now she did have three children from that marriage there was her oldest daughter Turquesa. There was a son, Pedro Jr., and there was a baby boy named Raphael. Unfortunately, in 1996, Mary and Raphael were involved in a car accident and Raphael ended up dying. Mary was also injured. And that there is my biggest scandal story for Mary Wilson. There are a few more things to be said. I did hear that there was a point of time, and I think this might have been in the 80s of the early 90s, she was on a show kind of like Celebrity Crips. She was going to show them where she lived, which was a little like bungalow, little apartment, you know. And so she was going to be honest, but then a friend came to her and said, Mary, you cannot show them that. And she goes, you know, why? And she was like, you cannot show them that a Supreme lives like this. Think about how Diana is living. You know, think about how her mansion is. And Mary goes, oh, well, you know, well, what do I do? So her friend was like, well, aren't you close to your doctor? And Mary goes, yes. And the friend says, well, what do you, do you think that maybe you can ask the doctor if you can use her home? If you see Mary Wilson on that show showing off her home, that is not her home. Supposedly, that is her doctor's home. So I'm pretty much at the end of the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click like and subscribe. I am working to get these videos out to you guys as fast as I can. I do want to say the next video that I put out will be somebody that you guys have put in the comments. So go ahead, like I said, subscribe and check back and write who you want to see in the comments. And um, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Miss Mary Wilson. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch.